Charlie 2, actual. Go for actual. LZ is in sight. Looks like our boys are right on time, Colonel. Roger, 3-1. Hitman teams are locked and loaded for assault. You are green to go. Colonel, we may have a problem. Too late, Laswell. We're live. Not until I say so. Watch it at 3-1. How copy? Station Chief Laswell, send traffic. General Barkov has sent a new shipment of chlorine gas to his depot. But his mercs are prepping to move the chems into Urzikstan via convoy tonight. You're still clear to engage, but live fire on Russian military is prohibited. We cannot have an international incident. No guarantees Russian army won't respond on this case. Understood, Alex. Just locate the gas, commandeer Barkov's trucks, and get off the exit before the tide turns. Copy, Watcher. We'll handle it. Let's move. All Hitman teams push to your set point. Roger, all the move. We need to keep this on a tight loop. Barkov's men are moving the gas tonight. Hey, what are the odds we run into General Barkov? Russian general wouldn't be caught dead out here. on the ridge and let's get the lay of the land. They got the drop on us real fast. Mm -hmm. right. Echo 3-1 to Blue Viking 5. Call for fire. Stand by for target confirmation. Copy 3-1. Viking is standing by. Let's recce the area and make sure there's no Russian army down there. Movement in the rail yard. That's there. how the gas comes in. I see some people. There. Control vehicle, oh, contractors, yeah. security, big right targets. There. Right there. No Russian military presence. You call it in CIA. Blue Viking 5, this is Echo 3 1. Troops in the open, south gate. You are cleared hot. Roger, 3 1. Target acquired. Weapons free in five seconds. Five seconds. Echo 3-1. Good effect on target. Viking is RTB. What's up, uh, hunting. Much obliged, Viking. We'll take it from here. Guess we're going in here. Right? See, I'm playing it a little bit more cautiously, uh, students. Usually if I was playing, I would just be running around doing those kind Multiple of things. Multiple guns on foot. Since this is an exercise, well, I think we got some, some hostiles up here. Hold up, let him approach. Let him approach? Why? Uh, how, how, how much are we gonna let him approach? Sounds like they see us. Clear, force up. My team is, uh, did everything. They're just carrying me. Line. Looks like someone was playing with fire. Serves him right, hawking this chemical shit. Um, Erica asks, it's it's kind of um, ambiguous, or I haven't played enough to actually know, but. Walk through here. I 
wonder if I could... Am I gonna catch on fire if I'm standing like on the fire? Put them out of their misery. Element of surprise is not on our side, boys. Stay frosty. What a better gun. This secondary is not bad. Stay sharp. We're blind on this breach. Contact! Whoa! Okay. We've got an empty nest on that second watch deck. That He's dug in! Door. Lay suppression to get up there! Use the door frame to mount your gun and stay in cover, I go! Good suppression! Flank up and take him out! Force out! We need to secure the gas before they move it. Let's Our move! Rog! I got one! 20 meters out! Yeah, I see him! Reloading! Movement! Wah, wah. That's actually a perfect time for me to pause, though. Um, okay, so a lot of things happened right there. I ended up getting melted because I peaked, which tends to happen because I am not that good at games. I like them, but I'm not good at them. Um, so now what I want you to do, students, is with your word processor if you have word open or if you have like a notebook or something i just want you to jot down what happened over the last uh handful of minutes so i think i played for about seven or eight minutes right and i want you to pretend that you as the ethnographer were part of that uh, convoy that was trying to gain access into the base where we we're going to find chlorine and all that stuff so I just want you to spend like a couple minutes on your own thinking about what just happened and jot down notes and then we're going to compare and contrast in the chat. All right. <laughs> I'm getting roasted because I got caught peeking the corner there. Right? So just just try to think about all the details that you would you would want to include if I were to ask you, tell me a story of what happened as a participant observer, as somebody who was along on this convoy to try and locate uh, Barkov's gas. All right. I'll give you another minute or so. I know this is kind of like a weird stopping point, but um, we're going to start getting into the chat now. And I, and I really want to see some of the different uh, ideas you all have. Let me sit closer. If I sit closer, does it make my, does it make me more visible? One thing I'm also going to do, uh, students, is can we get extra credit for subs? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. This is part of the optional part of the class, in fact. Um, but, you know, that's very funny. Thank you for uh, saying that. I'm going to eventually get my mic hooked up so that when I stream games throughout the semester, uh, I'll be able to you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. Right now I'm just talking. Yeah, your, your chat is working socially, Jun Young. Yeah, so you'll be able to hear me a little bit better. Uh, I'll have a better mic, in fact. 
So if you just showed up to the chat, what we're doing is we're thinking about what happened in the first seven, eight minutes of this mission uh, from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, so now that you've had a little bit of time, what I want you to do is put into the chat some of the things that immediately come to mind if I were to ask you what happened and that you as the fledgling ethnographer were charged with trying to recreate this unfolding part of social experience on the page. So what are some of the details that you would you would mention? Just go ahead and type in the chat. Soldiers advance on facilities. So so Sandy K. Lee said soldiers advance on facilities in an area that were bombed. Okay. Nice. What else? What else would you talk about? You, you kind of got to work on your aim and positioning. Okay, that's another, uh, that's another way to recreate this event. <laughs> Shooting ensued and there were people on site. Okay, what else? We heard people shouting for help, injured civilians maybe. So Erica Roth says, yes. Jun Young says the team can see the enemy, but not the other way around. Okay, so the recon aspect. Uh, Alexandra says there was a suicide bomber, then a flashback 24 hours. Okay, so we have a kind of uh, introduction of time and temporality into our story, into our narrative. Russians were killed, right? And it's, there's a question mark, says Andy Lee. It's ambiguous. We don't really know. One soldier was killed as he left a building. Good. What else? 